And what a fantastic place to spend a bit of time over in New Zealand with the new Stalker Legend 25 year series fly rod. I've got the fast six weight. It's ideal for this sort of water when you're dealing with pretty big fish. And this is an outstanding specimen. Just on five pound, absolute beauty. And uh, that's what you're, you're dealing with with a lovely six weight. Great fish to be catching with the Stalker Legend. of fish rising everywhere. I think the precipitation has really brought on a great hatch and uh, that can sometimes happen when you get uh, just a little bit of rain. That can really bring in a bit more warmth and it can bring the insects up as well. And uh, the fish really get onto it pretty quickly. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of sparrows flying around and they're making the most of all these duns that'll start to pop as well. So uh, yeah, when it does rain, the fish are already wet. So don't worry about it, get in there and catch them. to watch those swallows you might have just seen in the background and they'll fly along and literally pick off the duns off the water so uh, not a good time to be a dun with the swallow getting you from the top and the fish from the bottom it's got a few more rising a bit more consistently further up so uh, it's always hard to leave rising fish when there is one there, but he's not taking, so I'll, uh, I will move up <laughs> after I have one more cast. Oh. <laughs> Maybe two more casts. We've actually swapped to a larger done. We couldn't get him with the smaller. I've put on actually a 14, which is quite a big fly. But a lot of the, uh, the duns coming down at the moment are actually quite big, so uh, normally I always say go smaller, but I think in this instance we're going to have to go bigger. Yeah, you almost... Hey! <laughs> Begin to doubt yourself for a while. We'd had uh, 4,708 casts, and then eventually it took it. And you just wonder what that 4,008th cast was different to the others. But sometimes it just might be in their uh, their, their line. They just see it when they and you know don't think too much about it. Sometimes that can work, but uh, yeah, it's good fun. And there's that many duns here coming down. But just as that fish jumped then there's another one rose, like, well it's still rising, just with, with a fish splashing around in front of it. So uh, I think particularly with, perhaps with winter coming on, these fish are going to make the most of the amount of food that's available right now. And uh, it's obviously hard to see from way back there, but there's literally duns all over the place here and the fish are certainly onto them. So it's a, it's a great time of year. Um, we're into like the last week of the season in April and uh, it's so pretty outstanding fishing. You get some good settled weather. Every now and then it might be a little bit chilly, but uh, it's a great time of year to be fishing. The levels are a little bit lower um, and you get some really good hatches like we're seeing now. So it's a, it's a fantastic time of year to come across to New Zealand. And when you can you know, get a few fish like this, and it'll be a ripper, it'll, you know, be three, three and a half pound, great fish in, in any language there. So it's uh, good fun to catch, you know, on, on a dry fly. And that's why you go fly fishing. It's a great uh, time. I mean, that was a, a lot of casts. And it is about, you know, altering the flies. But it's also a lot about where you're putting it to. So if you, you really need to make sure you, you cast in the right spot. And that right spot is right in the fish's mouth, by the way. So if you can uh, get him in there now and then, you get a good, good cast in. Perfect. We'll just get him in the net in a second. Sorry, mate. Good. That was good. It's quite rewarding to get a fish like that. Uh, good dark fish. And there's plenty more up there as well. And Mark has uh, just hooked up to one as well. So we might get another one. So I'll get this one out of the net. Give you a quick look at him. 
and we'll hopefully show you what Mark's got as well. Lovely little brown from the Wakaya River in New Zealand. It's fantastic. He's easily, yeah, be a good three, three and a half pound. So that's beautiful there. We'll let him go. And he's good to go straight off. Perfect, what a lot of life left in him. We'll go up and net marks. And uh, yeah, still a few more fish feeding too. Gee, they must be getting easy now, mate. Beautiful, yeah. They do, and the fish are a lot darker, so they'll be like a resident fish. Quite often, well, later in the season, you get a lot of silver fish as well. That'll come up to um, up river to spawn. And uh, but these, when they're quite dark, means they've spent all the time in in this this system here. And uh, they just take on a lot of the, the dark rocks and blend in a lot better as well. So a good resident brown, yeah. We always joke, but if, if we caught this in Australia, we'd be on the front page of the Herald Sun. Oh, no. Here we go. Beautiful. His head keeps going, and boom. Lovely little fish, and yeah, similar sort of size. Yeah. I don't mate, any fish on a dry is a good it's fish, good you know, fish. so that's terrific. Yeah. Love that little little parachute, and that imitates like a little little dun, and uh, they're certainly all over those. Good. Beautiful, yep. Oh. And he went, there you go, so we got him. So well done, excellent, pretty good. Well, I think that's about all we've got time for on, on today's episode of, of On The Fly. So uh, River in Southlands, an amazing place to, to come across and spend a bit of time. Some awesome fish here, and it's some place that you, you're just gonna love it. So uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it.